12 years earlier down the line in Kanpur, okay, when I was pursuing my PhD. Now, where I am from, we are located at the, in fact, you also know, Bank of River Ganges, okay, and it's nowadays very popular, okay, and, uh, and let me tell you one thing over here that although in India, I'm going back to one thing that what do we mean by communication? You forget about your fundamental aspect. What you, you study technically, I'm not going to that one. So communication is nothing but transfer of information. Just to think of that the time when you were in your school days, when you were studying history, you have studied that the hieroglyphic script or the various papyrus leaf, okay? And all those ones, they were used for having the mode of communication. And there was some time that when people, they could not talk, right? But still they were able to communicate by some sign language or something else, right? So that is nothing but you are having some kind of transfer of information that is visible, right? So if you see that, for example, the leftmost corner, you don't have to mention specifically, but it is well understood that they carry some kind of religious symbols, right? And later, the long distance communication that made feasible that when Sir Alexander Graham Bell invented the telephone. Coming to the modern era, I believe that all of us are having all these stuff at our home black screen television, right? Or a FM receiver, or a laptop, digital camera over the last 15 to 20 years, which has taken a boom. Now what is happening, this device which I believe all of us are carrying, okay, what you can find that it can basically perform all the operations which are men mentioned in the other four photographs, am I correct? Yes. So essentially what you are having, you can do the multifunctionality. Okay, so this is the need of the hour that you can.